CPB is known for its projections of the Dutch economy. How are these projections made? People sometimes think that CPB works with one large computer model, but that is a myth. Projections come about in a collaboration process that takes place between people, Safir 2, a central macroeconomic model, and various smaller computer models. Every year, CPB publishes four projections, which are produced in eight separate steps. This process starts by briefly looking back at the previous projections to determine whether there are indications of the economy developing in another direction than previously projected. Subsequently, data are collected on main external developments. In addition to new government policy, this particularly concerns world trade, which is very important for the open Dutch economy. Data on the recent past, such as on unemployment over the previous six months and economic growth in the previous quarter, are obtained from Statistics Netherlands. This recent past is an important indicator of the current state of the economy. In the following step, the macroeconomic model, Safir 2, is applied. This model simulates economic activity, human behavior, market activities, Dutch government finances and the national accounts are all included in the model. The model contains over 1750 equations, of which a large number describe the financial balance of the Dutch economy in mathematical formulas. The main part of the model consists of a core containing 25 behavioral equations, such as that of employment increasing when companies begin to increase their production levels. However, CPB is not a slave to its models. In the fifth step in the projection process, therefore, calculation results are checked by various specialists. This may lead to the model being overruled by CPB researchers and to them adjusting one or more of the projection figures. The results then are also used to make new calculations using other models, for example, to calculate household purchasing power. In the second to last step, there are discussions with the various ministries, particularly to determine whether all policy measures were correctly incorporated in the calculations. The ministries are not involved in the content of the projection process, but they do ask pointed questions that keep CPB alert. The final step is the publication of the projections on CPB's website, together with a press release and sometimes also a press conference to further explain the projections. The CPB director regularly presents the results to members of the Dutch cabinet. How truly accurate are such projections? Do they provide a realistic picture of the economic reality? The answer to this is a nuanced one, because although the picture is quite realistic, projections often do deviate from the economic results in actual practice. Projections are never 100% accurate, as this would be just about impossible. Projections are intended to provide policymakers with a consistent and sufficiently reliable economic picture. In normal circumstances, the margin of error is around plus or minus 1% for projections of the current year and around plus or minus 1.5% for those of the following year. Most deviations are caused by inaccurate estimations on world trade, the housing market and the implementation of unforeseen new policies. Furthermore, there are also inaccuracies that cannot be explained they are then further investigated by CPB scientists who continually work on improving the projections. More information on CPB models can be found on our website.